Welcome to another Electronics and More video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at something many of you have seen around your homes, but do not necessarily know how they work. And that is a ground fault circuit interrupter like you see right here. Most modern homes will use these receptacles within six feet of a sink. You'll find them in your bathroom, near your kitchen sink, near a laundry room sink. You'll find them in your garage. You will also find them outdoors, and the purpose is to protect you against electrical shock. GFCIs are available as receptacles like you see right here. They also come as part of a cord. You could plug into a receptacle that's not GFCI protected, then you will have a GFCI protected receptacle, and it's also available as a circuit breaker for your electrical panel. The way a GFCI works is very simple. The side over here with the shorter blade, that is the hot side. This is the side that has 120 volts AC. The longer blade on the left side is where the neutral line connects to your panel. This connection here is your ground. Whatever current leaves on this blade right here must be returned on the neutral blade on the opposite side. If you have a hair dryer or an electric shaver plugged into this receptacle, and you accidentally make contact with water, what's going to happen, some of that current from the receptacle would be flowing through the water to ground rather than going into the neutral blade on this side of the GFI. So if you have 100 watts leaving on this side and only 85 or 90 going back on this side because a little bit of that current is going to ground through the water, the GFCI is going to detect that and it's going to open up the circuit like this. Now it's tripped. And reset it. The test button works by using a circuit internally which is connecting the hot blade to the ground instead of the neutral side. Here you can see when I connect between the neutral and the hot it works fine. All right. And when I go between the hot and the ground, it will trip because the current is not returning on the neutral side. There you go. These GFCIs are designed to disconnect power once a fault is detected within around a 40th of a second. It only takes a few milliamps of current that's not being returned back on the neutral side of the GFCI to trigger the circuit. Press reset and you're back in operation. Hopefully now you have a good understanding of how GFCIs work. If you enjoyed this video, please rate it a thumbs up, subscribe, and post links to this video on other websites and blogs. Also be sure to check out my other videos as well. Thank you very much for watching.